This is a stretch, strength, and balance class. It's designed to stretch, strength, and balance the body. And we're going to uh, use uh, weights as an option. You don't have to use weights, but I'm going to teach with some weights a little bit later on after we warm up. And uh, you can do the class standing or sitting, and you don't have to use weights. You just make a tight fist when we do some of those uh, types of exercises. And if you're using weights, try to put them on a table or a chair so you're not going down to the ground to pick them up every time uh, because it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a safety measure so you don't hurt your back. Make this work for you. Have a good time. Enjoy this. We have a, you know, all the volunteers here making this uh, just perfect for you. And so we have a really good show. So having said that, let's begin with three hard opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen. When you inhale, just give it a nice big stretch and just stretch through the thighs when you open the chest and exhale, come down into a little bit of squat Then slowly come up real slow. You feel it in the, in the gluteal maximus. <laughs> inhale and stretch and exhale, come on down. Again, inhale, so we got a lot going on in this one little activity. Now when we exhale, we hinge at the hip to come down to forward bend. Then I keep the um, head up a little bit, so keep your back straight. Lock those knees, and you feel a nice tug on the back of the legs. We give the antagonist action a little bit of a time to get used to this, so it lets us come down further. Now we'll breathe into it and come down further. So three of them, three breaths. So it's inhale and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch or the back of the legs again through the nose inhale big long inhale and exhale just relaxing into that stretch for the back of the legs one more time inhale and exhale this is one of the best parts of the class this warm-up it's so good to, to prepare for the exercises again now inhale slowly come on up and exhale relax now just kick the legs out <laughs> Wiggle the hips, shim the shoulders, bottle the hip. Now, let's throw the arms around from side to side and push down into a hip. I notice a lot of you are starting to uh, <laughs> starting to uh, do this exercise while we're waiting to start, which I really like to see that. It's a nice little warm up. So when we go to a side, you bend the knees and push down into a hip for those of you that are new. And when you push down into a hip, this opens up the tissue throughout the hip area. And what we're doing is opening up the body so you have a really good flow of energy throughout the body based on the fact that the body is always working to repair and restore itself back to a state of perfect health. So the body's always working very hard to make you perfect. And the fact that you're here is your way of cooperating with the body to help it do what it does best. And that makes you perfect in every way, just as you really are. Now, let's do the same up and down motion, but bring the arms up to shoulder height. So the inside palm goes face up, the inside palm goes face down, the outside palm goes face up. And we're just looking straight ahead. So get a nice little pull, squeeze on the trapezius muscles. That's all around your upper back from the shoulders down to the middle part of your back. And they get a lot of tightness. So when you squeeze the shoulder blades against the trapezius, what we're doing is relaxing that muscle. It's almost like a deep tissue massage in a way. If you, I think I'm stretching it a little bit, but it's close. And it's nice for relaxing the body and opening things up. Now we're gonna uh, widen the step up a little bit and just reach up high and stretch through the side. Go to the other side and stretch through the side. Again, lift up high, stretch. Go to the other side and stretch. We'll go one more time each side. So give it a good stretch. Other side and stretch. Now come to the center. And just let's bring a little vibration into the body. Bounce the knees, relax the shoulders. And you bounce the knees. See my shirt sleeve shimmering. Yeah. Doesn't that feel good in your arms? You let it relax. Yeah. When you relax the body, the mind begins to relax. But it's really relaxing the mind that relaxes the body. You gotta relax the mind first. Now shake the palms. And the best way to relax the mind is to bring it into the body. So you're just very present and in the moment with what you're doing. And that to me is the success of life as being in this moment. Now let's add a little wiggle the hips, wiggle the hips. 
and then just shim the shoulders, shim the shoulders. And of course, let's bobble ahead. <laughs> so we're all shook up, you know, and just, just relaxing. And don't worry if you're not doing one of those motions. Just let yourself go and just shake yourself all up and you're doing it just right. Ah, uh, yeah, just relax the body. Really shake the palms up. I want you to focus on the palms because the reward is to stop and feel the tingling in the fingers and the palms and the wrists. You know, let's stop. Can you feel that tingling? If you can, you're successful at bringing the mind into the body. And that's all there is to it. Nothing more complicated than that. Now, bring your uh, right hand around the waist, lift the left hand up, and lift up and stretch. Pull all the way down to the hip and put your hip out, and the arm falls over the head. Keep that elbow straight. Let's not bend it. Lift it up and let the weight of the arm pull a little bit more. And we'll add the breath, three of them. So through the nose, let's inhale, lift up and stretch. Exhale, hold it right there. Inhale, this is a static stretch. And exhale, we're just breathing into it again. Inhale, through the nose, stretch. Now we exhale, come on out of this and shake the arms, shift the shoulders and bobble ahead. Let's do the other side. Hand around the waist, lift up. Feel a tuck from your hip. Now, hip comes out. And let's add three breaths. So through the nose, let's inhale and lift up just a little bit more and exhale, hold it. Inhale, stretch just a little bit more. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, just a little bit more and exhale, slowly come out of this. It's a nice way to get the maximum stretch out of an activity, just to breathe into it. And then again, that brings your mind into the body, which helps the mind relax, gives the mind a break. The mind's always thinking all the time. So this is a good chance to relax that. Now, let's bring the shoulders forward to curve and stretch the back and bend the knees. We're going to do uh, circles three ways. So when you inhale, bring the shoulders up to the ears, open the chest, straighten the knees, and exhale, bend the knees as you come down, pulling those shoulders, squeezing those shoulder blades together. So bring those shoulders forward and inhale up, open the chest, and exhale, bring it down. One more time around, then we'll reverse. Bring those shoulders forward and inhale up. Open the chest, stretching through the abdomen and exhale, pull it down. Now from here, we're going to reverse. So inhale, bring those shoulders up, straighten the knees. Come around, a little curve in the back as you exhale down, a little curve, not a big curve. <laughs> so, okay, open the chest, inhale up, stretching through the abdomen and exhale, bend the knees on the way down. Again, open the chest, inhale up, and exhale, come on down, and straighten the knees and kick the legs out a little bit. All right, now, let's bring the uh, fists together so they're facing each other, and we're just gonna, from this height, the elbows are shoulder height, we're gonna pull the, uh, uh, squeeze the shoulder blades together. So we inhale and exhale, pull back, come into a squat, then inhale, come up, exhale, squat, and inhale, that's two, one more. Exhale, squat, and inhale, that's three. Now, let's bring the, clasp the hands, bring them above the head, palms facing forward, and we'll pull the shoulders back. So we inhale, pull back, and exhale, we relax and squat. Inhale, straighten the knees and pull the elbows back, and then exhale one more time. Inhale, a little bit of a stretch, and then exhale, Squat, relax, drop the arms, shake the arms, shim the shoulder, bottom the head, kick the legs out, loosen up the body, keep loosening the body, it's really good for you. All right, now let's do a shoulder shrug. Start with the right shoulder, so let's inhale, bring the shoulder up, feel a stretch to the waist, and exhale to the left. Inhale, stretch, and then exhale two more times. Right side, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale to the left. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale one more time each side. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale, other side. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale. Now let's do both at the same time. Inhale, give it a good shrug to the ears, and exhale, come on down. Inhale, give it a good shrug, and exhale, let's do one more time. Through the nose, inhale, stretch, and then exhale, come on down. And just relax the body, again, kick the legs up, turn the shoulders. Let's work on stretching the legs a little bit. We're going to do the uh, uh, a dynamic stretch for the back of the legs, which is the moving stretch. 
We're going to tension the hips, keep the uh, leg knees locked, and we'll impact the right and the left hip as we go around. So follow me. Going down to the right side first. We inhale. Now just hinge at this hip, coming down the right side. You feel it in your left hip as you come around. You're stretching through the back of the legs and inhale up. You feel it in your left hip, right hip. As you exhale down, you feel it in your left hip, stretching through the back of the legs as you move your torso across. Inhale up. You feel it in your right hip. Now one more time. Exhale down, stretching through the back of the legs. Inhale up. When you get to the top, we're going to reverse. Now exhale down the opposite way. Head up, come on down, lock those knees, stretching through the back of the legs, and inhale up, feel it in your left hip. As you exhale down, feel it in your right hip. And when you bring your torso across the center line of your body, you're stretching the back of the legs. And then inhale up, and exhale down, stretching through the back of the legs, and inhale up. When you get to the top, we'll stop. And exhale, relax, and then just kick the legs out, shake the arms, shim the shoulders, and bobble the head. Now let's do one leg at a time. Step forward with your right foot, hands on the hips. We'll just hinge at the hip, lock that knee. So inhale up, and exhale, hinging at the hip. The head up, just lower that torso down, so you're pulling on the back of the leg. Now you come down to where you don't come down any further, and just hold it there. Let the leg get used to it. Just let your balance get used to being challenged here. And Master the challenge. Now, here we go. Through the nose, let's inhale. Now, when you exhale, just relax a little bit more deeply into that stretch for the back of the leg. Two more breaths. Inhaling, big long inhale, and exhaling, just relax a little bit more. Take nice long deep breaths again through the nose. Inhale, and exhaling a little bit more deeply into that stretch. Now, when you inhale, slowly come on up and exhale, kick the legs out. We take these nice long deep breaths to oxygenate the bloodstream. The blood carries all this good stuff from us, but it needs a lot of oxygen to do its, uh, do its best. And it's good for the mind. So this side and the hips, inhale up and exhale and the back knee. Keep that front leg straight. I'm down to where you don't come down any further. Hold it right here for a moment. Get used to your balance. Now, let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale. Just lower yourself into that stretch a little bit more. Let the leg come down. Again, inhale and exhale. Just a little bit more into that stretch. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Notice how we get nice maximum stretch when we just slowly work into this. So inhale up. That's a static stretch. And exhale. When we hold a stretch and just breathe into it, that's static stretching. Pick the legs out, shake the arms, shoot the shoulders, and bobble the head. All right, now what I'd like to do is uh, a little bounce, a uh, little uh, tapping. You might want to take your glasses off. We're going to tap from the top of our head all the way down to our toes to further warm up our body. And so we'll take the tips of our fingers and tap all around the flat bone, the top of our head. Now, for those of you that are new, tapping stimulates the, the fascia, the connective tissue and it runs throughout your body. Foster connects everything to everything. And this helps the body have a freer flow of energy. Now come to the crown, come on down the back of the head, and come behind the ears on the bony part, and then above the ears. Now all around the temples, the temples. Now just come back to the ears and go up and down the ears, all around the ears. This helps improve the flow all the way through the ears so nothing gets left untouched. Now just pinch the ears up and down, pinch the ears up and down. Now come back to the temples, the temples, the temples. Now all around the forehead, the forehead. Now do your mind's eye, just tap right in the center there. Right there, yeah. Okay, now the eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. Okay, outside corners of the eyes. Now come down to the eye sockets, eye sockets. And now below the nose and the upper level of the gum line, then we go up to the back teeth and then back down to the front again. Now jump down to the lower level. Come on up to the back teeth, all the way up there. This is really good for your face. Really super good for the complexion. All around the chin, around the chin, and underneath the jaw. We're hitting a lot of energy centers that are all around the face here. Now uh, behind the jawbone, below the ears, there's some soft tissue here. This is glandular. Okay, now let's do scrunchy face and open face. 
So make a really tight fist, we're gonna do three of these, and then uh, scrunch it up really tight, squint the nose, squint the eyes. On the count of three, we'll do just the opposite, it's called open face, and you can make a sound and stick your tongue out. One, two, three. Ah! Good job, Julie. Give it a good scrunch. You know, really tight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> okay. One more time. Give it a good scrunch. Really tight now. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> ah, very good. That feels good now. Just feel the tingling in the face for just a moment. All right. Good. Let's continue. Head down to the left shoulder. Thumb out. Right arm out. Take the left hand and tap up high where the shoulder connects to the neck. Now, <laughs> the send shock waves down into the lungs. It's really good. Tap hard. So on top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the elbow. I'm tapping about three times in every area. Come all the way down. And the wrist, top of the thumb, from the fist, pinky, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm. To the elbow, tricep, tricep, arm pit, arm pit. The upper part of the chest, let's go to the other side, thumb up. And give it a good tap. She's sending some pressure into the lungs. On top of the shoulder, top of the bicep, top of the forearm, start coming down the forearm. To the wrist, top of the thumb, from the fist. Look, picky. Body chop, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm. To the elbow. Tricep, 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 armpit, armpit, armpit. Okay, now let's do the upper part of the chest. Now, this is a great way to release stress and to shout it out. So, we're going to make some sounds. I want you to follow me. So, when I go ha, you go ha. If I go ha ha, you go ha ha. And then you're going to relax so much, you're going to end up laughing because laughter is contagious. So, here we go. Ready? Ha! Ha! Ha 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 medicine it's always has been it's so good for the body a little bit of laughter is like doing a lot of exercises it just gets everything going so good now let's come on down to the abdomen 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 okay now you lean forward and do your lower back your kidneys 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 and your tailbone 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 buttocks 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 Buttocks. Come on down the back of the legs. To the insteps, 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 okay? Come up the insides of the legs. Go right to the hips, hips. Let's, let's find it on the outside. Come up in front of the legs. When you get to the knees, hang out at the knees, all around the knees. Now, slowly come up the thighs. Back to the abdomen, abdomen, abdomen. Now, let's sweep down the body and smooth out the energy. And use a positive affirmation. Just say it feels so good. Ready? It feels, it feels so, good. so good. And let's do that two more times. Ready? It, it feels, feels so, so good. good. Now it feels so good in Korean is I shawana da. I shawana da. Let's try it that way. I, I shawana da. da. Uh, that's just a cool way of saying it feels so good. I shawana da. I've always loved that. Now. <laughs> I think we're warmed up, so I'm going to invite you to use some uh, weights if you like. And uh, we're uh, again, you want to make this work for you and don't overdo it. Let's see. Okay, where's my cheat notes? Ah, here they are. Okay. All right, the first one we're going to do is an overhead press. Now, you can adjust these weights as you see fit. Uh, sometimes you may not want to use weights at all. Maybe you don't want to use weights at all, period, and that's fine. 
just tighten the fist when you do these exercises. So this first one will be an overhead press and uh, we'll grab uh, some weights that you feel comfortable with or no weights, a bottle of water or, you know, just make it work for you. Take it, take everything with a grain of salt here and just do, do your own thing kind of. So knees are soft. Let's inhale, bring the palms up to the chest and exhale, elbows out. Now we begin with an inhale and exhale, push up, inhale, little squat, exhale, push up, inhale, little squat, exhale, stretch, and inhale, that's three. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, that's four. Going to eight, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, two more. Exhale, and inhale, one more. I wanna do three more. Exhale, and inhale, two more. Exhale, and inhale, one more. Exhale, and inhale, no more. And inhale, straighten the knees, and exhale, lower the palms down. Bend the elbows, shim the shoulders, bobble the head. Now, the uh, reason, I wanna do 10 in each set. So you can do eight exercises, 10 in each set. All right, now this next one is gonna be an overhead press with the side step, side cap. Let me just get my notes here. Overhead side cap. So if we do the same thing, we inhale up to the shoulders and exhale, elbows out. Now we're gonna bring our right arm up and, and tap out to the right with our uh, right toe. So we inhale and exhale, tap. Then inhale, come down, left side. Exhale, tap, and inhale, that's one. Exhale, tap, and inhale, come down. Exhale, tap, and inhale, makes two. Exhale, tap, and inhale, come down. Exhale, tap, and inhale, makes three. Going to 10. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, five more now. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, that's six. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, three more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, one more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, come down. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, and exhale, lower the weights. Once you bend the elbows, shim the shoulders, bobble the head, kick the legs out. Now, I wanna put the weights down for a second, do three hard opening breaths, and stretch the back of the legs. Stretching is very important. Keep the body fluid, and it's a nice little break and a nice way to rest. So palms in front of the abdomen, feet are hip width apart or less. But inhale, open the chest and stretch, and exhale, come on down and hinge at the hip. Now inhale, open the chest, and exhale, come on down and hinge at the hip. Again, inhale, open the chest. Now we exhale, come on down, hinge at the hip, and just feel the pull in the back of the legs for a moment. Try to keep the head up so you keep the back straight. And we're just pulling on the back of the legs. Let's take three breaths. Inhale and exhale, just relax a little bit more into that stretch. Again, inhale and exhaling a little bit more into that stretch. One more time, inhale and exhaling, just relax a little bit more into that stretch. Now when we inhale, let's slowly come up and exhale, relax, and kick the legs out. Shake the arms, shim the shoulders, kind of loosen up the whole body. Let's go grab some, oh, this next one, so you know it's gonna be a, a bent over row. So you, you maybe you wanna have some uh, heavier weight or less weight, whatever you feel like, kind of make it work for you, okay? But now, feet are no more than hip width apart, knees are bent, hinge at the hip. All we're gonna do is lift the fists up to our shoulders. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, pull up and inhale, that's one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, pull up just as much as you can, bring those elbows back and inhale, that's three. Exhale, 
and inhale, four, exhale, and inhale, five more, exhale, and inhale, that's six, exhale, and inhale, three more, exhale, and inhale, last two, exhale, and inhale, one more, exhale, and inhale, no more. Now I want you to bend the knees and then just start lifting up your knees and that kind of keeps your back straight. And then just bend the elbows, kind of shift the shoulders, uh, move the weights around, kick the legs out, loosen up the body. And this next one is going to be a, a, a squat with a punch. So we're gonna come down, and do, we're gonna start with a squat, stand up and punch with our right, come back down, stand up, punch with our left. So we inhale and exhale, come down. Then begin with an inhale and exhale, stand up and punch with the right and inhale, come down. Now the left, we exhale, punch with the left and inhale, that's one. Exhale, punch with the right and inhale, exhale, punch and twist, sorry. And inhale, that's two. Exhale and inhale, exhale, and inhale, three, exhale, and inhale, try to keep the shoulders over the hips, exhale, and inhale, four, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, five more, exhale, and inhale, Exhale, and inhale, six. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale, three more. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale, last two. Exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale, one more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale no more. And inhale, straighten the knees and exhale. Lower the arms down, bend the elbows, shimmy the shoulders, kind of relax. Now let's put the weights off to the side and let's uh, do three hard opening breaths. And we'll come down into a forward bend on the last one this time. Okay, palm in front of the abdomen. So when you inhale, come into a squat, now slowly come up when we come up. So inhale, come up, open the chest, stretching through the thighs, and exhale, come down, bend the knees. Now slowly come up so you feel it in your buttocks. Inhale, yeah, and exhale, okay. We we'll do the same thing one more time, but we come down into forward bend at the end. Inhale and stretch. Now when we exhale, just come down and just hinge at the hip, keep the head up, pull in the back of the legs. Now we're gonna add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale and exhale. Just relax into that stretch for the back of the legs. Two more breaths, inhale, exhaling a little bit more deeply into that stretch. One more time, inhale and exhaling, just relaxing a little bit further into that stretch. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up and exhale, stand here for 15 seconds. Nice and straight, shoulders over the hips, knees are soft, not locked. Shoulders over the hips, hips over the knees, knees over the ankles. Okay, this next one we're gonna do is a hammer curl. So let's grab some weights for a hammer curl. Again, I try to get in the habit of calling these out for you a little bit ahead of time so you can adjust weights if you need to. All right, so what we're gonna do is simply soften the knees, shoulders are back and down, and all we're gonna do is bring the fists up to our shoulders. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, come up and inhale, that's one. Exhale, come up and inhale, that's two. Exhale. Inhale, makes three. Exhale, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, and inhale. 
five more. Exhale and inhale, six. Exhale and inhale, three more. Exhale and inhale, last two. Exhale and inhale, one more. Exhale and inhale, no more. And inhale, just straighten the knees and exhale, bend the elbows. Kind of shim the shoulders, bobble head, kick the legs out. Now, I want you to just set the weights down for a minute. I want you to sit down and just uh, relax. I want to take the pressure off you for a moment and let the body absorb the energy that we just created from doing the exercise. So sit up straight with the shoulders over the hips, look down to the earth, and we're just going to be here for three minutes. So as you're inhaling, I want you to be aware of the body expanding. When you exhale, you can feel the body completely and deeply relax as if you're melting, dissolving into the earth. Just listen to the piano as you allow yourself to float with the music. And you might be catching your breath right now. Let your breathing be natural and comfortable. You can lower your eyes to the earth or close your eyes and just bring your mind's awareness to the present moment. And just let yourself totally and completely relax. In fact, every time you're exhaling, feel the body relaxing a little bit more deeply. You might want to begin with your face, relaxing the muscles in your face. Let your jaw relax. Next time you exhale, the shoulder relaxes. start to feel mild tingling sensation inside your body as every cell is getting washed and rinsed restoring you to your state of perfect health and that's what the body is doing continuously making you perfect in every way this is the moment that you give to your body a little bit of a break just to rest and quiet the mind you see the body is always right there with the mind and the and the body never gets a chance to relax unless the mind can relax. And the best way to bring to relax the mind is to bring the mind into the body and just be present with what's going on in this moment right now. And it's that simple. There's nothing complicated about it. And it's very enjoyable just to be as simple as you can be in this moment. Don't complicate it. I just, all you're doing is completely relaxing. Feel the piano. Okay, now I invite you to open your eyes and clasp your hands in front of your abdomen. So when you inhale, bring the clasped hands up to the chest, roll them forward as you exhale, extend the arms into a stretch. Then inhale and exhale a little more deeply into the stretch. Now when you inhale, just simply lift the arms up over the head. When you exhale, look up to stretch. One more breath, inhale, lift up on your abdomen, just stretching it out through the sides and then exhale slowly, drop your arms down to the lap. Cross your hands like this, we're gonna twist the spine. So when you inhale, we exhale, look around to the left, then inhale, twist a little more deeply, and then exhale, relax, and come to the center. 
Then inhale and exhale, look around to the right. One more breath. Inhale, twist a little more deeply and exhale, come on back to the starting point. Now let's put our hands on our knees. We'll lift the behind off the chair. We're gonna do 10 of them. So just bring it up about six inches or three inches, whatever, just get it off the chair. So through the nose, let's inhale, lift the chin up, pull it, pull the chin up, pull it behind up from your chin and exhale, come on down. We're holding it for a count of three. So through the nose, inhale, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, that makes number two. Through the nose, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, that's number three. Through the nose, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, makes number four. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Now we have five more. Through the nose, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly, bring it down. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale. Now, as we bring it down, we realize we have three more. So through the nose, that's inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale slowly. Come on down, this is really nice for your core. Inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale. Now let's do two more. Through the nose, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale. One more time, through the nose, inhale up, one, two, three, and exhale, slowly come on down. All right, now, I invite you to stand up and again, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go back to the weights, we're gonna start with a tricep kickback. So, grab whatever weights you think you'd like to have or no weight, just make a tight fist if you want to, make it work for you. You're okay just the way you are. Just know that about yourself. Because we all start okay. It just, we come across things and that makes some things not okay. So we need a break once in a while. So knees are soft, hinge at the hip. That's inhale, bring the uh, fist up to our chest, and then bring the elbows back. And then exhale, kick back, and inhale, return. Exhale, kick back and inhale, that's two. Exhale, kick back, and inhale, makes three. Exhale, kick back, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, kick back, and inhale, five more. So when you kick back, you're stretching the arms, and inhale, six. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, three more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, one more. Exhale, good stretch, and inhale, no more. And inhale, just straighten the knees, or just straighten the body, and then lift up with the knees, and exhale, come on down. Bend the elbows, kind of shim the shoulders, kind of move the wrists around a little bit. Kick the legs out. Now this next one is gonna be an overhead bicep extension. You can increase your weight, or if you're using weights, you can put two together or reduce your weights and have no weights. We're just gonna drop the weights behind our neck and then lift it straight up in the air. The knees are soft, not locked. Now let's inhale it up. So it's inhale up and exhale, little squat, come down behind the neck. We begin with an inhale and exhale, lift up and inhale, come down. Exhale, come up and inhale, we squat. Exhale, come up and inhale, makes three. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, that's four. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, five more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, that's six. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, three more. Exhale, stretch, you feel it in the abdomen, and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, one more. Exhale, stretch, and inhale, no more. Then inhale, straighten the knees and lift the arms up and exhale, lower the weights down in front of you or your fists and then kind of shake the arms and the elbows. Now let's do a march with the bicep curl. So we're gonna bring our, uh, let's see, it's gonna be our right knee up and our left arm goes to a curl. Then we do the opposite side. So we, so, Knees should be a little bit soft so you have your balance. So, uh, <laughs> right arm up as you inhale, left knee up, and exhale, come down. Lean over to the left, 
right side. Inhale up, right side, right knee up, and exhale. That's one. Lean to the right and inhale and exhale. Lean to the left, find your balance, and inhale and exhale. That's two. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale makes three. Exhale and inhale. Sorry about the breath. Exhale and inhale four. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale five more. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale six. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three more. Exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale, last two. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, no more. Then inhale and exhale, relax. Bend the elbows, kind of wiggle the shoulders, move the wrists around, kick the legs out, kind of loosen up. And this next one I want to do is a, we're going to do a step, be, we're going to take our right leg, step behind the left, and come and do a squat at the same time we do a curl. All right, so we start with an inhale and exhale, right leg behind the left, squat and do a curl, then inhale, come up and exhale. So it's inhale and exhale, inhale, other side, we exhale. Inhale to the right, we exhale, inhale and exhale too. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and three. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and four. Inhale, exhale, inhale, five more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Six. Inhale, exhale, inhale, three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, two to go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, no more. Inhale up and exhale. Now just uh, bend the elbows, kind of wiggle the arms, wiggle the wrists, take the legs out. Let's put these weights to the side for a second and do three hard opening breaths. And just shake it out a little bit. Shift the shoulders, bobble the head. Palms in front of the abdomen, knees are hip width apart. So come down to a squat and slowly come up to feel your buttocks and you inhale, straighten the legs, feel the stretch through the thighs and then exhale, come on down and keep your back straight. Again, inhale, slowly stretch and exhale, come on down. Third one will be a forward bend. So it's inhale and stretch. Now when we exhale, just come down, hinge at the hip, keep the head up to keep your back straight, and just feel the upper body pulling on the back of the legs. Now we're going to add the breath. So three of them through the nose, let's inhale and exhale, just relax a little more into that stretch for the back of the legs. Again, inhale and exhaling a little more deeply into that stretch. One more time, inhale and exhaling even more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up and exhale, relax, kick the legs out, 
chin the shoulders and bobble the head. Now let's uh, do a couple more weights. A couple more exercises, right? We'll do an Arnold press. The feet are hip width apart, knees are soft. Now, we bring the weights up to our chest and soften the knees. And the, we're, we're just gonna um, push the weights over the head at the same time and just spin the weights so our palms are forward. So we begin with an inhale and exhale, push up and inhale, come down. Exhale, push up and inhale, that's two. Exhale, stretch and inhale makes three. Exhale, stretch and inhale, that's four. Exhale, stretch and inhale, five more. Exhale, stretch and inhale, six. Exhale, stretch and inhale, three more. Exhale, stretch and inhale, last two. Exhale, stretch and inhale, can you feel the abdomen? Exhale, stretch and inhale, no more. And inhale, straighten the knees, exhale, lower the arms down. And the elbows and the shoulders, move the weights around. And then let's do a, uh, just a little, uh, another curl with the, uh, tapping our right foot out. And we'll do 10 of those and then 10 on the left and then we'll be through with the weights. So let's tap forward with your right foot. We begin with an inhale and exhale, bring the knee up and curl both arms. Then inhale, come down. Again, exhale and inhale, that's two. Exhale and inhale, three. Exhale and inhale, four. Exhale and inhale, five more. Exhale and inhale, six. Exhale and inhale, three more. Exhale and inhale, last two. Exhale and inhale, one more. Exhale and inhale, no more. And inhale, bring the foot back and exhale, tap the left foot out. So it's inhale and exhale, pull up and inhale, that's one. Exhale, pull up and inhale makes two. Exhale and just tap the foot out, three. Exhale and inhale, four. Exhale, inhale, five more. Exhale, and inhale, six. Exhale, inhale, last three. Exhale, inhale, two more. Exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale, and inhale, no more. Inhale, bring the foot back and exhale. And the elbow, shim the shoulders, bottom the head. Let's set, to get rid of the weights. And then shake the body up, chin the shoulders, do three heart opening breaths, feet are hip width apart, palms in front of the abdomen, bend the knees, and slowly come up to, to uh, massage your behind. So inhale, slowly come up, yeah, and stretch through the thighs, and exhale, slowly come down. Again, inhale, stretching through the legs, behind the chest, and exhale, so we squeeze the shoulder blades together. It's really good for the trapezius. Again, inhale and stretch. And exhale, hinge at the hip. And just hold it here, let the arms relax. Now inhale and exhale a little bit more into that stretch for the back of the legs. Again, through the nose, inhale and exhaling a little bit more into that stretch. One more time, inhale. Exhaling a little bit more to that stretch. Now when we inhale, slowly come on up and exhale, kick the legs up, shake the arms, shift the shoulders. Now I invite you to use a chair for support or you could use a wall. So we're gonna work on the, our legs just a little bit. So let's, we're gonna do both legs at the same time. So you may not need to hold on to the chair. It could work for you. I'm gonna stand them about like this. So. So we're gonna um, do three sets. We're gonna hold it for a count of 10. And while we're up there, you can uh, breathe naturally. <clears throat> so 
Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Two more sets. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly. One more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do one at a time. Bring your one foot, one leg up, and same way. Hold it for a count of 10, breathe naturally. So inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly one more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Now let's do the other side. Other leg up. Here we go. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then slowly bring it down. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. One more. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly bring it down. Now keep the legs out a little bit. Now use the chair for support. Let's bring our right foot forward. Just lift the toes up, hold it for a count of six, four, five, six, and come down. Now bring the heel up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and come down. Two more times. Bring the right toes up, the left toes up. Two, three, four, five, six, and bring it down. A heel up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and bring it down. Now shake the leg out. Let's do the other side. Bring the foot forward. Bring those toes up to begin. So inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and slowly bring it down. Heel up, inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and bring it down. Two more sets. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and bring it down. Heel up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one more time. Inhale up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and bring it down. Bring the heel up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and bring it down. And then just take a moment, kick the legs out, shake the arms. Now, let's sit down and uh, join me for any questions that you might have.